Good morning girls. This is Dr. Kiran Deswal, Assistant Professor English. This video is in continuation to the previous video which I have shared yesterday on the WhatsApp group and YouTube link. Let us continue our story, My Beloved Charioteer, composed by Sasi Des Pandey. In the beginning, we saw that this is a story about three women, grandmother, daughter and granddaughter. So, the story begins with grandmother who is the narrator of this story. She tells us about her daily morning routine in which she shares her tea with the granddaughter Preeti and when Preeti leaves for school what she does at home she is narrating in this paragraph. So let us start. When she is gone silence settles on the house. We know that children make noise that's why there is noise in the house and when Preeti leaves there is silence in the house because Aarti and her mother are not on speaking terms they speak very less there is there is no communication between them there is a communication between mother and daughter a silence that will not lift till she returns when Preeti leaves she also leaves a silence and this silence remains there till she returns. After returning, she again makes noises and she again starts sweet talks with the grandmother. That's why this silence breaks again when she returns. I had got used to this silence and if it is regular, it becomes a part of our routine. Similarly, it becomes a part of the routine of the grandmother. She is habitual of this silence now and she is habitual of this silence in the last seven years. It had never seemed terrible to me because she is used to it. It was a friendly silence because when there is silence in the environment, you are free to imagine various things. You think about your past, your present and your future. You can think about many things and your mind is calm and quiet and you feel somehow uh, though alone but relaxed. Filled with the ghost of so many voices in my life, the grandmother, the grandmother's house used to be full of people in the past. Now it's empty. They came back to keep me company when I was alone. So she remembers her past. Here the writer has used flashback technique. In flashback technique, the writer, the narrator remembers the things of past. So in this paragraph, the grandmother is remembering her past when my younger brother, my aunt who, who loved me when I was a child, my two infant sons who never grew up because they died early and even the child Aarti who seems to have no connection with this thin bitter woman who now shares the silence with me since she came the friendly ghosts have all gone since seven years the grandmother is alone and she remembers her affectionate bond with her aunt and with her younger brother and the two infant sons who died early but with Aarti, her relationship is not good. Aarti is Aarti feels uncomfortable communicating with her mother. So, with the arrival of Aarti, all the friendly ghosts have all gone. The narrator here saying the people whom she remember her friendly ghost friendly ghost ghost because they are not alive and friendly because she feels company 
with them she feels that they are still with me so they are friendly ghost it is late when she wakes aarti wake wakes up late we know when the grandmother and the granddaughter are talking they talk very slowly they are afraid that it, they might be heard so aarti wakes up late I have had my bath, finished my puja, and I'm halfway through cooking lunch when I hear her stirring. So, she gets up in the middle of the day when the grandmother finishes all her works like bathing, worshiping, and cooking. I take down the dal from the fire and put on the tea. Whenever she comes to know that Aarti is coming, she instantly she takes down. the dal from the fire whatever she is cooking she takes it down and she puts on the tea for aarti by the time tea is ready she comes into the kitchen it is very uh, regular and monotonous routine wordlessly pay attention wordlessly she doesn't speak anything with her mother wordlessly without speaking anything she takes a cup from me drinks the tea in hurry gulps as if she has been thrusting for hours because she is not enjoying the taste of the tea she just drinks it as if she is drinking water and she has been very thirsty then thrust the cup back at me i pour out some more i too say nothing grandmother says nothing because she knows that if she will say something aarti will get irritated earlier i used to ask slept well have you slept well the grandmother is very concerned about the health and sleep of her daughter so she used to ask have you slept well aarti have you slept well and one day she had put the cup down with a trembling hand and said slept well no i never do that i haven't slept well since madhav died so aarti is recently widowed her husband madhav had died and she feels too much lonely that's why she can't sleep well so whenever the grandmother asks have you slept well one day she replies that i didn't sleep well and i i can never do that because i remember madhav and madhav had died so i am i feel lonely and i can i cannot sleep well I will never sleep well again all my life. I have to take something every night so that I can close my eyes for a few hours. Here we can say that Aarti is suffering from loneliness. Her husband had passed has passed away, so she feels lonely. She is unable to sleep properly. Now never ask me again if I slept well. So she warns her mother that. do not ask me if i have slept well because i can't do that in my whole life because i have lost my husband and without him it is impossible for me to sleep well 9 months i carried this daughter of mine in my body every woman does so i had felt every beat of her heart and it is very common that uh, the heart beat and moments of a child are felt by the mother every moment of her limbs within me but and my doctor had told me this then my pains and shocks could never penetrate to her she was insulated against them but the mother feels the pain but the child doesn't feel the pain because the child is safe in the mother's womb even now she is protecting protected from my pains even now the mother is saying that aarti didn't feel any pain when she was in the womb all the pains felt by the mother and now also she don't want to feel any pain it's the mother who feels the pain the mother wants to convey that she wants to say that how painful it is for me my daughter even my daughter doesn't want to talk to me and it is very painful for me but she can't understand how much painful this is for me i suffer with her but like all my other emotions it is a futile suffering 
for cannot help her because she cannot get back her husband i can only fumble and blunder and make things worse as arti says so why didn't you let me know earlier again she recalls her past memories and she remembers the things why there is bitterness between mother daughter so she remembers that incident when Ar- when arti's father dies he instructed her mother not to tell arti and the mother did so and it made annoyed arti that's why she don't she doesn't communicate with the mother why didn't you let me know earlier she had asked me angrily and she had come home after her father's death why didn't you send for me earlier my father has died and you should have told me that he is not well so that i could have met her don't tell arti yet he had said because it was the instruction and order of her husband that's why the mother couldn't inform arti on time i don't want to frighten her not now especially the father arti was pregnant at that time so the father doesn't want to frighten her by his death or by his illness so order he ordered the mother not to inform arti and she was helpless against the will of her husband habits of obedience die harder than any others this is very true as a wife she did what which she had to because she had to follow the order of her husband and she didn't inform arti about his illness i had not dared to inform arti and the next day he had another attack and died instantly 3 months later preeti had been born she never saw her grandfather so preeti born after the death of her grandfather so she never saw her grandfather thanks for both thanks for watching we will be continuing our next video